What's up, Viking family? Today we're gonna be doing some Dollar Tree Valentine's Day DIYs that are perfect for the new year. Before we begin, you gotta let me know, do you like conversation hearts? Because I think these things are disgusting. They're expensive too, and they're so gross. So let me know if you like them down in the comments below, yes or no. With that being said, let's begin. I got these conversation heart picks from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. Full price, they were $4.99. Right now, you can make them for less using these wood heart picks from Dollar Tree. Go ahead and start painting your heart. I decided to go with more pastel colors. I then painted all of my handles white. Once the paint has dried, apply a layer of glue that dries clear. And then on top of the glue, I'm going to pour on some white glitter. It's time to add your wording on top of the hearts. I'm using a pink color puffy paint. I like it because it gives it a 3D effect. You can always just use regular paint. While the puffy paint was still wet, I poured on a finer white glitter. I got some thinner pink ribbon from Dollar Tree. I wrap that around the handle of the heart and create a bow. That's how I made these conversation heart picks that are very similar to the ones you can buy at Hobby Lobby, except they cost a lot less money to make yourself. For our next project, I'm going to be using some lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree. Go ahead and pour this inside of a container you don't plan on using with food. I actually just got a Betty Crocker container from Dollar Tree and I'm using that. Pour some paint inside of the spackle. You're going to mix it together till you get your desired color. I'm using Apple Barrel Paint in Cameo Pink. I got it at Walmart for around 60 cents. Now get an ice cream scooper. Again, you don't want to use one that you plan on using for actual ice cream. And you are going to start scooping out the spackle, creating fake ice cream. Now this particular container, I used two containers of spackle and I was able to get eight scoops out of it. In another container, I'm mixing together spackle and paint yet again, but I made sure that I went with a creamier spackle. To get your Dollar Tree spackle more creamy, you just gotta add water or extra paint. Dollar Tree carries a bunch of really nice glass mugs and cups. Go ahead and choose a few out. In the inside of my mug, I'm going to put in the creamier spackle, and I'm just going to make sure that this covers the entire inside of the mug. You want to wait 24 hours for your ice cream scoops to completely dry and then start putting them inside of your shake. Now I placed my ice cream scoops inside of the shake wet, and you run the risk of getting fingerprints doing it this way. I only did it this way because I'm filming and sometimes I have to rush things when I film. This is completely optional. I took a piping bag and an icing tip. It's an open start tip and I'm placing the tip inside of my icing bag. Inside of the bag, I am going to put some spackle. This spackle you see is my favorite spackle for fake sweets. I prefer it for everything I do except for the fake ice cream. The Dollar Tree spackle is the perfect consistency for creating fake ice cream. I topped my fake whipped cream off with a fake cherry. I got these from Amazon, I'll link them down below, but you can find these at pretty much any craft store. I decided to add some fake whipped cream around the rim of my glass as well. I cut out these cute little facial features. I will link the images I used down below for you guys. You can always just print them out and cut them, then glue them to your glass that way. You are left with the cutest little fake milkshakes that are perfect for Valentine's Day decor with that sweet theme. I love these so much. If you want to know how I did the ice cream part, you're going to choose another glass from Dollar Tree, anything you like. These are my favorite glasses from Dollar Tree to use for more Sunday like things. And then you start to place your ice cream scoops inside of the glass. You can use hot glue to keep an ice cream scoop in the exact position you want it to be in. I topped it off with my fake whipped cream, added my cherry, and this time around I added some fake strawberries I got from Hobby Lobby. I put a face on this particular glass. How cute is this? I did a bunch of these in the past before. This is my favorite fake sweet to make. Fake ice cream I think it's like my top and then uh, cakes are close second. I made a similar DIY years ago and I actually ended up making a t-shirt with those DIYs. See it's the little shake. I did a mug topper so I have like this cute little shirt that I made with the DIYs. I think it's cute. For our next DIY, you're gonna need the wooden crates from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be painting my crates a light pink color. Now this is inspired by Chic on the Cheap. It's funny because she was inspired by my hot cocoa bar to create a Valentine's Day candy bar. And then I was inspired by her Valentine's Day candy bar to turn my hot cocoa bar into a candy bar as well. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's who inspired this. 
Once the paint has dried, I glue all the crates together. I will say that I didn't paint the inside of the crates. Reason being is I'm going to put candy inside of this and some of the candy is unwrapped. So I didn't really want it to be hitting the acrylic paint. Now I got two of these wall shelves from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna paint them pink as well. You don't need the wall shelves exactly, you just need wood that is similar in size. I then take both wall shelves that I have and I glue them together in a 90 degree angle. I'm doing this because this is going to be a roof, so I wanted to glue them together now and give them some time to dry. I got some wooden dowels from Dollar Tree and I painted them white. I'm going to be cutting these wooden dowels about an inch from one of the ends in an angle. So I have this tool, I love this thing, I got it from Amazon, I'll link it down below for you guys, where you can cut things real easily at an angle. So I went with a 120 degree uh, angle and I just cut it with this tool. You don't need this tool to do this. You can do it with scissors. You just gotta work a little bit harder into the wood, but this wood is so thin that scissors, it gets the job done too. Now I'm gonna glue those wooden dowels inside of the crates. I use six crates total. I'm gluing those to the first four crates that you see. I used wood glue to attach everything together. However, when I put the wooden dowels down, I did try to secure them into place a little bit more using some hot glue. Then I attached the wall shelves that I glued together, and that's why I created that angle on the wooden dowels so that they would lie better underneath the wall shelf. Now I got this kissing booth sign from Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue that onto the roof of my little candy bar. Now fill this up with candy. I got some pink Hershey's Kisses from Dollar Tree. I also got these cookie and cream candies from Dollar Tree. At first I put those in two crates but I ended up switching things around. I also put some conversation hearts inside of this as well as these cookies from Dollar Tree that are so nice. I decided I wanted to make this look more like a stand, so I got some popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree. I used my scissors to cut them down into smaller pieces that I then glued underneath the wall shelf that's on the front of my bar. Once I had them all glued down, I painted them white, and this just looks absolutely adorable. I love the way that it turned out. I love that it's like my hot cocoa bar, but it's made for Valentine's Day. I also did one for Easter before, and I feel like this is something that could be very universal for every single season or holiday. I just shared this DIY during Christmas time, but we are going to convert it for Valentine's Day. So get colorful bowls from Dollar Tree. I got a white broom handle from Dollar Tree. My husband is removing the top piece, then taking that end and heating it up over the stove. Just enough so it gets hot that it can go through the plastic of one of the bowls from Dollar Tree. In my Christmas video, I did show two different ways of making this DIY. One with this way where you melt the plastic, then another way where you don't have to melt the plastic. I'll link that down below for you guys. Melting plastic can cause toxic fumes, so if you go this route, do this at your own risk. Just be very careful. I can tell you this, both methods work really, really well in all types of weather. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some E6000 and a little bit of hot glue, put that around the rim of one of the bowls to attach the other bowl and handle. Now I wanted to decorate the bottom of the lollipop a little, so I had gotten this tissue tassel garland and the reason I went with this is because you can cut this down into a bunch of pieces and use it on multiple lollipops. So I'm just tying these pieces around the lollipops and then I added a little pink bow. I used a zip tie to attach the bow that way the bow wouldn't go anywhere. To make these more suited for Valentine's Day I got some heart stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm just placing them on top of the bowls. That's it. That's how I easily converted these to match my Valentine's Day decor that's gonna go outside. I'm gonna be doing a sweets theme outside as well. And you know what? If you're doing this for just Valentine's Day, instead of going with the blue and purple colors I used at the bottom, you can go with reds and pinks. Dollar Tree does carry like gift bows and stuff that can go down there in those colors. I love the way that these turned out during Christmas times. These look so cute and I cannot wait to finish up my Valentine's Day decor outside with my new sweets theme. I'm not normally into the gnomes, but Dollar Tree right now has these really cute smaller gnomes and you can customize these so easily by using puffy paint. You can put whatever you want, but what I did is I put the names of my family members. So my husband, my son, my dog. Also, if you're wondering why I started with the end letter of my son's name and 
pretty soon you're gonna see me starting with the middle letter of my dog's name. I do this to get better placement. If I start with the first letter and I just go from there, I usually mess it up. So it depends what it is. For that envelope, I wanted to make sure that I had enough room to spell out my son's name. So I started with the end and then on the heart, I started with the middle letter of my dog's name so that I could make sure everything was centered. Like I said, if I usually start with the first letter and then go to the end, I always find out that I did the name a little bit too much to the left or to the right. It's just a real easy way to customize your gnomes. It's almost like the customizable ornaments that you get at the mall during Christmas time. It's just so cute and easy to do. Let's make some Valentine's Day candles. Remember to use caution when making candles at home. Dollar Tree carries a big variety of candles, so I picked up a few for this project. I preheat my oven to 300 degrees and place the candles on a pizza pan I got from Dollar Tree. I then let the wax melt for 20 minutes. I'll be using white, red, and pink candles for this project. You will wait for the wax to completely melt. Once the wax is melted, remove the wick from the glasses and save for this project or another. I'll be using Dollar Tree glasses for these DIYs. Make sure any glass you buy from Dollar Tree doesn't have a warning label on it about not putting fire near it or heat. Then I use a pencil to wrap the wick around, centering them so they don't move as I put in the wax. I got this plastic pitcher at Hobby Lobby that's meant for candles for $2.50. I'm pouring red wax into it. I then pour the wax into the glass. You can pour the wax directly from the candle glass into the drinking glass, but do it slowly or you run the risk of the wax splattering. Then you have to take heat to it to melt away the splatter. I repeated this step with my other glass using pink candle wax. Now I bought this heart silicone mold at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to pour red wax into the hearts. Dollar Tree does carry heart silicone molds at this time of year. Wait for the wax to completely dry and then just pop them out. I'm going to make fake marshmallows to do this. It's real easy. I got white wax melts from Dollar Tree. I cut them into pieces and then I mold them with my fingers. Now it's time to make our whipped wax to look like fake whipped cream. Pour white wax into a heat resistant bowl or mixing glass. You're going to wait for the wax to start cooling down. You will know it's starting to cool down when a film starts to form on the sides and top of the wax. Once that happens, you can start mixing the wax. I'm using a handheld mixer I got from Target. You can always mix the wax by hand. Sorry I keep saying wax, but I don't know what else I'm supposed to call this. Anyways, it might just get tiring mixing it by hand, so it's nice to have something on hand that's automatic. You're going to mix till the wax is a thick whipped cream-like consistency. If you've been mixing a while and the consistency isn't changing, wait for the wax to cool down some more and then try again. This is the type of consistency that you see here that you're looking for. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. The light was kind of too bright. Now you're gonna need a piping bag and an icing tip and you're going to pour the wax inside of the bag. If the bag feels really hot, wait for it to cool down a little bit. Not too much, otherwise the wax is going to clog the tip of your icing tip. Now what you're gonna do is you are going to start piping out the wax so that it looks like fake whipped cream. And once you start piping, you don't wanna stop. You need to keep going because it doesn't take a long before the wax starts to get hard within the icing tip so you just got to keep going because if you wait it's going to clog it up and then it's not going to come out right while that wax is still warm i start to place in the hearts that i made as well as the marshmallows that i made I repeated these steps with the pink candle. The only difference was I took a crayon, a white crayon, removed the wrapper, cut it down a little bit, and then placed that inside of the candle. Then you need to trim your wick. You need to trim your wicks between 1 8 of an inch to 3 16 of an inch. You do not want the wick to be too high. It can cause a fire, and on top of that, it's not going to light right. You are going to be left with the cutest Valentine's Day candles. You can always add a scent to your wax. I actually hate like pretty much any scent right now um, so I didn't do that but you can most definitely add a scent to it to make it smell the way you want it to smell but oh my gosh aren't these just so adorable 
For this next DIY, I'm going to be using the cylinder boxes from Dollar Tree. Now, you can find ones that have really nice lids. Save those lids. We're going to use them for a different project. Next up, I'm going to be using some pink craft foam. I got this for 99 cents at Hobby Lobby. Talked about this before. Dollar Tree does carry craft foam. However, it's really hard to find. The pieces are smaller. You end up spending more money on the foam because you're trying to get all the same piece. It's better to go to the craft store. So what I did is I took my box and I figured out how big I wanted to make the pieces that are gonna go around the circumference of the cylinder box and I trace the bottom of the box on top of the craft foam and cut that out once I have my craft foam cut I start to glue on my craft foam pieces to the boxes I start with the bigger box and I just use hot glue to attach the craft foam and then once I have the bigger box done I glue my smaller box on top of the bigger box I placed my boxes on top of a cake board. Dollar Tree does carry cake boards. Now I'm gonna take spackle. Again, it's in a piping bag and I'm using the open star tip and I'm going to start creating a design on what's supposed to be my fake cake. I have made plenty of fake cakes on this channel before. So if you don't want to go with spackle, use ribbon. You can still make some really cute fake cakes using ribbon. I'm gonna start gluing some conversation hearts to my fake cake. Normally, I don't like to use real food when I'm making fake sweets, but conversation hearts, they remain the same for a long time. They don't really rot, kind of like peppermint. You can use peppermint too. Now, I will advise, if you live in an area where there's a lot of maybe mice outside or inside of your home, they get inside easily, or maybe insects, don't do this and use fake conversation hearts. And you can just do a quick Google search of fake conversation hearts and find them, or you can make them. I will link down below for you guys a tutorial that I did where I did make some. You're gonna be the best judge of what works for you and your home. Now, the hard picks that I made earlier on, I'm gonna actually take one of those, cut it down so that I could place it inside of my cake. To do that, I just took a little knife, I created a hole, and then just put the pick through the cake. I wanna do some fake icing on top of this, and to do the fake icing, you're gonna need Mod Podge in a glossy finish and then an acrylic paint of your choosing. You're gonna pour the Mod Podge and the paint inside of a piping bag or even a Ziploc bag you can use. Create a very small hole on the tip of your bag and then start to create a dripping icing effect. You wanna start off with a small hole and if you need to make it bigger, make it slightly bigger. If you start off with a hole that's too big, you are not gonna have full control of where you want the icing to be. At this point, I was just having fun with my cake, figuring out what worked for me, but everything you saw me use is what I continued to use. I didn't use anything else different. Just added more conversation hearts in areas that I think needed it a little bit more, and then I used the icing that I made to create little dots around the cake. You are left with this fake cake that, oh my gosh, you guys, it is so adorable. And I know for a fact that you can sell these and people would buy them because it's just so darn cute. And you can't buy stuff like this inside of stores. Remember those lids I told you not to throw away? Don't throw those away because you can make fake lollipops out of those. Just get some yarn. I recommend getting a yarn that's a little bit thicker. Dollar Tree's yarn, it's not very thick and you have to twist it together to get a thicker look. You might as well go to the craft store and get something for around the same price and you get more bang for your buck. So what I'm doing is I am gluing down the yarn in a swirl design. You could go with whatever design you like, but I feel like the swirl design makes it look more like a lollipop. And I'm just using my hot glue gun to do this. Also, I, I don't talk about this often. I recommend getting a hot glue gun that has a low setting. You're less likely to burn your finger and it gets the job done. What happens is lots of times people don't get the dual setting and instead they just have a hot glue gun with a high heat and that's how you burn your fingers so easily. On top of my little lollipops, I decided to glue down some more conversation hearts to really drive home that Valentine's Day look. And then once I have those down, I took a scissor and I cut a little slit at the bottom or I guess on the edge of the lollipop. And that way I was able to glue down a wooden dowel. That way I was able to create the lollipop stick. This dowel I got at the craft store. Dollar Tree does carry wooden dowels. The only thing is they're way thinner. Then on top of that, I just glue a bow and off camera I painted the handle white. And that's how you're able to reuse those lids from the cylinder containers 
and create another DIY. And these are just absolutely adorable. I love the way that these look and I just love the color of the lids that I had gotten. I had made some similar before and those are the pink ones that you see near these. I made those using the styrofoam rounds from Dollar Tree and cardstock. I just glued the cardstock on top of the styrofoam and then on top of that I glued down the yarn and then to the handle this time around instead of just painting it white I did take some ribbon and wrap it around the wooden dowel and then added my bow. The styrofoam rounds from Dollar Tree come to for a dollar so that's another option if you don't want to buy a bunch of boxes from Dollar Tree for just the lids. Right now at Dollar Tree you can find the cutest pink Christmas trees and this is not just like a almost clear pink something that looks more like tinsel no it's a really nice opaque color with some of that tinsel look on top of it I'm going to be using six Christmas trees to create a fuller taller Christmas tree so with each Christmas tree I'm going to unravel the branches all on one side on the bottom of the Christmas trees there's this little white piece I'm taking them off of all the Christmas trees except for one now I'm going to take some zip ties that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to start a attaching my trees together so the bottom tree base of the tree is going to have three of the Dollar Tree Christmas trees and again I just use zip ties to attach each of these pieces together on the bottom of the tree you will have one of the trees that still has that white piece you want that white piece there so that it can use the little stands that it comes with to keep the tree upright but then the two pieces you attach to the bottom you want those little metal pieces to just be sitting on top of the white piece then I go ahead and I add my stand so the tree stays up on its own and it's not so hard to do with a camera in my way and then I take my other two Christmas trees and I'm going to attach them to the top I got to make sure that the metal piece goes down and it could attach to the metal pieces that are on the bottom trees like I said earlier I'm using six Christmas trees five are attached together the last one, the sixth one, I am removing the branches off of that tree. The reason being is I'm able to wrap these pieces around the bottom, making it look more cohesive, and then I could take other pieces and glue them to the bottom branches, creating a fuller look down there so that the tree looks more like a Christmas tree where it starts off thinner at the top and then widens at the bottom. Sorry the lighting is a little funky here. The sun started to go down at this point, so it's starting to get a little dark. However, it's time to decorate your tree. I added some of these heart ornaments from Dollar Tree. Then I got these heart picks from Dollar Tree, and I just fed some of those throughout the tree. I then got this 24 pack of hearts from Dollar Tree, and I started to glue those to my tree. You get a lot of bang for your buck getting those little packs for decorating your little miniature Christmas trees. Finally, I placed some of these candy heart ornaments that I made in the past inside of the tree. I'll actually share with you guys later on how to make these. They're really easy to make and they look really, really nice if you're keeping your Christmas trees up. For my tree skirt, I'm just using a pink blanket. I just wrapped that around the base of the tree and that's how I made a bigger, fuller Christmas tree using the Dollar Tree Christmas trees. This came out so pretty. The lighting does not do it justice. Like I said, the sun was starting to go down, so the lighting's a little harsh here, but it is so pretty. If you made a bunch of ice cream scoops, here's another DIY idea. Get some mini tree cones. These I got from Hobby Lobby. They carry them all year round, and you can make mini ones just using poster board from Dollar Tree. I painted the cone, and then I'm gonna glue the mini scoops to the top of the cones. And of course, you know I had to. I did a little bit of fake whipped cream on each ice cream that I made and topped it off with a cherry. Now you can actually turn these into ornaments for a Valentine's Day Christmas tree. All you have to do is get yarn, thread, string, whatever you have on hand and tie it to the cherry and then just hang it off of the tree that way. Or you can actually use a needle and some thread, go through the spackle itself and hang it that way. How cute are these? It's another thing you can do with those fake ice cream scoops. If you're wondering about the little white tray that they're inside of, it's actually cardboard that came with my son's Play-Doh kit. I poked holes inside of it, painted it white, placed the ice cream inside of there, and then I just put some conversation heart stickers on the front. I wanted to make some fake cookies, so I got these wood hard pieces from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be putting some 
some spackle on top of these pieces using a spatula that I also got from Dollar Tree. So I dip it inside of the spackle and I start to rub this onto the wood piece. On the edges of the piece, I did use my finger because I felt like I could rub it in better using my finger. Once the spackle has completely dried, you can sand it down to get a smoother look. I actually had my husband do this. It's best to do this outside. However, when we filmed this, it was like negative, I don't even know, like negative five outside. So I wasn't sending him out there. So he just wore a mask. I went to the basement with my son as he sanded these down for me. He did say you can probably smooth these out with just water if you like to. I'm making that fake fudge. This time I'm using a pink paint. And again, the same thing, you pour some Mod Podge. I like the glossy finish for this inside of a bag. And then a little bit of paint. I like to do normally about like 60% Mod Podge to 40% acrylic paint. You're gonna mix the two together and then I am gonna use that as an icing. At first, I tried to do a heart shape on top of the spackle that was a little bit smaller, but then I was like, eh, this doesn't look right. It's gonna be too hard to do where I can get a really nice heart. So instead, I took my spatula yet again and I just started to use it over the fake cookie um, and place it just all over. I waited for the Mod Podge and paint to completely dry. Then I went over my fake cookies using a white puffy paint. Again, I'm just making them look like conversation hearts and I decided to go with white to make it look very similar to the cookies that I got from Dollar Tree. That's how I made these fake conversation heart cookies. You don't have to use the spackle if you don't want to. I like to use it because it makes it look like there's actual icing on top of the cookie. However, if you want to, you can always just paint the wood instead if that's easier for you to do. Moving right along, for this project, you're gonna need at least two of these candy dishes. And you're gonna glue two of them together. This time around, I'm just using hot glue. It's fine to use hot glue alone if you're gonna do exactly what I'm doing next. I got this decorative mesh from Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue it around the bowls. This is why I said that you can get away with hot glue. If you use a decorative mesh or you use ribbon, it's just gonna help secure the bowls into place, give it a little bit more support so that it doesn't really fall apart on you. So I kept wrapping it around until I got the opaque look that I wanted and then I trimmed it down a little bit on the sides of both bowls. I decided this needed a little bit more something. So I'm going to be gluing table scatter 60 pieces that I got from Dollar Tree. I didn't glue all 60 pieces to this, but I'm gluing it to the mesh. And you know what? This is actually more bang for your buck if you glue them down versus getting the stickers from Dollar Tree. I like the stickers from Dollar Tree because they're easy. You don't have to get the glue out. But if you're trying to save money, you can go this route. So this looks like big, hard candies. I ended up making another one this time around. I got this really pretty ribbon from Dollar Tree, so I went the route of using that ribbon. And again, I'm just wrapping it around the bowls and I added some hearts to this. Now you got jumbo hard candies you can use inside or outside of your house. Let's make some jumbo lollipops bigger than what you've seen before. You're gonna wanna get a pool noodle from Dollar Tree. I prefer the white ones for Valentine's Day lollipops and you are going to glue it together by rolling it in. So slowly roll it in. Use your hot glue gun to keep it rolled in and attached to each other so you're just getting a swirl lollipop design. You're gonna hold it in place and as you hold it in place you want to tie it together. I'm using zip ties to do this just because you want to wait for the glue to completely dry and more than likely you're not gonna to want to stand there waiting for it to completely dry. So you can use zip ties to hold it in place as you wait for the glue to dry. Once the glue has completely dried you can take off your zip tie and you'll see that the pull noodle doesn't unravel. Now I'm gonna take this chunky yarn that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby for around three dollars and fifty cents and I'm gonna start gluing it to my lollipop and I'm kind of putting it wherever two pieces of the pole noodle meet and those little crevices to help really drive home that swirl design. Inside of the pole noodle I'm going to push in a longer wooden dowel I got for 99 cents at Walmart. Before I did that I did use a pair of pliers just to create a hole that's going to be easier to get the dowel through. Dollar Tree carries these craft foam beads. I got the pack that has some more pastel color mix and I'm going to be gluing that around the lollipop. To glue it down, I'm just using a regular clear glue. 
Make sure you flip it over something to get rid of any loose beads because you don't want them all over your house. I then painted the wooden dowel white. I then glue a bow to the lollipops. This is actually a satin head wrap I found in the hair supply section of Dollar Tree. I thought it was the perfect color and the bow was already done for me so I didn't have to do anything. Anyways, that is how I made these jumbo lollipops using Dollar Tree pool noodles. I love these. I have owned them for over a year now and I just love the way they look. Here's a quick project. If you can find these pink bottle brush trees at Dollar Tree right now for half off or you already have them, you can glue some of these pearl beads to the trees. And this instantly makes it look really chic, romantic, works very well for Valentine's Day season. This is actually inspired off of a tree that I got from Michaels and then after I had those glued I decided to glue down some conversation hearts to really make it look like a Valentine's Day piece and that's all you have to do you instantly take these trees that are meant for Christmas and turn them into some Valentine's Day decor our next project is an oldie but a goodie I'm using this fake apple I had gotten at Dollar Tree years ago but now you can find big styrofoam balls so you can go that route instead what I'm doing is I'm using a bamboo skewer to to create holes inside of the apple that I'm gonna feed some fake flowers through. These are fake roses that I got from Dollar Tree. They carry them every single year, honestly, for probably as long as Dollar Tree has been open. So I'm pushing them through the holes with some hot glue to make sure they stay put. And I do this all around the fake apple. Again, you can use a styrofoam ball. The reason I had used a fake apple is because it was bigger than the smaller styrofoam balls that Dollar Tree carried at the time. So back in the day, they only had one size and they were pretty small. Nowadays, they have all sorts of sizes. So I ended up getting the smaller size to make another one of these. So the apple was a bigger one and then these, uh, obviously the styrofoam is just gonna be a bit smaller. Then I got a wooden dowel from Dollar Tree and I'm going to create a hole that's going through the apple. You will do this with your styrofoam ball. I had gotten this candle holder from Dollar Tree. They carry so many different kinds now with really pretty pink and red colors. I'm going to be placing a styrofoam piece inside of that candle holder. I had to cut it down to fit inside of there perfectly. I then pushed the wooden dowel inside of the styrofoam. On top of that, I did glue down some marbles because I was trying to cover up the styrofoam. I then pushed the smaller styrofoam ball through the wooden dowel, but not all the way through. And that's how I made this rose topiary that is perfect for Valentine's Day decor, especially if you like a more classic look. Finally, those candy heart ornaments you saw me use earlier on. So you're gonna need some heart cutouts. Dollar Tree does carry these. They also carry ones that don't have the holes if you want to go with no holes. And what you're gonna do is you are just going to paint these. So I painted them a bunch of different pastel colors and all of the paints I got at Walmart. Now on the front of this, I placed some vinyl I cut out with my Cricut in that conversation heart text style. As you just saw me do previously or like earlier on in the video, I used puff paint. You don't have to use a Cricut. You don't need a Cricut for this. You can use puff paint, you can use regular paint, you can use a paint pen, you can use a marker, there's so many different things you can use. These come with pieces of twine that you just loop through the little holes and then that instantly makes them into an ornament. If you can only find the regular hearts, you can always make a little hole through there and then attach a piece of twine through the little hole you created or you can even glue twine to the back of it and hang it up that way. So I had placed this on top of my Christmas tree. I think it was a couple of years ago that I did this particular Christmas tree. I went with a really big pastel candy heart theme that year and it was just so pretty and these were placed inside of a regular Christmas tree versus this year I have a big pink Christmas tree so you can see you don't need a pink Christmas tree to go with that really pretty sweets theme. So that is it for these Dollar Tree Valentine's Day DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.